I shut my eyes, trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming. I smell your breath, not listening, but I still hear you screaming. Going under. One step away till you hear what I'm saying. Sounds like thunder. And the clouds are closing in. You see, I know this, but the last days in real life I've noticed. Losing focus, breaking up from our life as we know it If someone had told me that I will take off And find something greener, greener than gold Hello and welcome back to the baby game I am your host, Miss Karen Scott, and I am here on the set of a dating game in Mount Kimoridi. We are here with our dating bachelor, Mr. Nathaniel Corbin, and he has gone on all five of his dates. So on this episode, we get to look in and see how his dates went. <sighs> From what I hear, it was some hot stuff going down. It was some emotional stuff going down. But on this show today, we're going to look into his dates and we're going to go over how his dates went and then we're gonna have an elimination round as the dating games gets on the way our bachelor has an option to choose who he gets to date the red rose represents a regular date that is the rose that the ladies will see in the morning when they wake up the white vase is the rose for a mystery date and the purple vase is the date for an overnight stay with the bachelor things are heating up we also have in store for you our confessions our dating bachelor and his dating prospects have left a few confessions so we get to look into that and see what juicy stuff went down on our bachelor's date so here's a short clip of how Nathaniel's first date went hey bartend how about a round of drinks for everybody on me and, and make sure you give the lady whatever she wants Daniel, what type of work do you do? Oh, I'm a lead engineer. So it looks like the day with Nathaniel and Addison went off without a hitch. Oh, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm getting a word that our producers, our producers are saying that they left a confession. Okay, so we're going to have to look into that and see what it was that went down. It sounds like something happened. Let's look into it. So it's time to dish. So my date with Nathaniel went off pretty good, I would say. The beginning of the date was perfect. I mean, he was great. I mean, he did everything. I mean, he was a gentleman. And I would say that the place that we went to was the perfect icebreaker date. So I don't have any problems with that. The problem I had was me peeing myself in the middle of our date. I was so embarrassed. I couldn't believe I couldn't hold it. I wet my clothes. I... I, I mean, and, and he was a gentleman. Nathaniel was a gentleman. He helped me. He talked to me. He calmed me down. I mean, if he wasn't attentive before, he was definitely even more attentive after the incident happened. I mean, I was just completely mortified for myself and for him, but he showed his self approved I really like him. It was a great day. Okay. What a confession. Miss Addison. Oh my gosh. I didn't expect to hear something like that. I mean, I know that that had to be completely embarrassed it has never happened to me i hope it never happens to me but in the meantime kudos to nathaniel for how he tended to addison on the date so anyway we're gonna switch gears and we're gonna go on to nathaniel's second date which is brandy he chose brandy to take out for his second date so i am looking forward to see how this goes let's look in and find out <laughs> so what's up brandy it's nice to see you I see that you got more roses. You made it up here for your consultation before the date. I just wanted to let you know that we're going to hit up a little bar in one of the local towns and let's get it going. What you say about that? <laughs> well, I definitely say yes to that. I mean, I could use some good conversation. So, hey, let's go. I'm down. Okay, well, let's not waste time. Let's head on in and I'll start us off with a round of drinks. Okay go right ahead it sounds good to me
What's up, man? I'd like to order uh, a glass of champagne for the lady and a glass of brandy for me on the rocks. Thank you, sir. Let's head over here, Brandy, because i like to have a little intimate conversation with you. i like to get to know you. Well, okay, so you want to know me, huh? <laughs> well, good, because I want to know you, too. Listen, I hate to walk away. This conversation getting good, but I need to hit up the restroom. So sit tight till I get back. <sighs> well, so they say. And if you so, first dates are awkward. But I think I might like him. He's down to earth. Well now, beauty in all its glory. Yes. Is the seat taken? I won't waste your time, honey. Oh. But I'm on my way to get on the wow. clock. Wanna ride? How about we uh. head up Paris? Or oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry, but I will have to give that a hard pass. I, I'm actually on a date, sir. But thank you. <laughs> but maybe next time, if you change your mind, my car will be up at the front desk. <laughs> so you mean to tell <laughs> yes. me that you almost yeah, got swept away? Was, Man, I can yes. believe that. With how beautiful you are, Brandy. Man, you believe that maybe one day we can go to Mulan together? Well, it's actually kind of interesting that you would say that. I do want to travel. That was one of the things that I desired to do. And being able to travel with someone that I am close to and possibly in love with would be great. Maybe even a husband, maybe. You know, I don't ah, know. she's throwing hints on the first day. Okay, okay. I can dig it. You know, I'm looking for a wife, so that's a good thing. That's a good matchup right there. Yeah, uh, more like a I'm letting you know type of situation. You know, like I'm looking for a husband. <laughs> I mean, that's what this is all about. I mean, I'm single. I don't have any kids. I've never been married. How about you? Well, of course, I am also single. I've almost been married but i've never been married and i don't have any children um and with that i'm not quite sure i want children i'm like on the fence when i'm 50 50 with children ah and he gives me a rose when he breaks the news about the kids but lucky for you i'm on the fence about kids as well i have a lot of goals a lot of goals huh? i don't like that in a woman and by the way i didn't get a chance to tell you how beautiful you look today and i'm intrigued i'm looking forward to our next date if you have me. Of course. I'm looking forward to it as well. <laughs> well, my best friend encouraged me to do this, so... <sighs> I wasn't hopeful that it would go well, but I'm so glad it did. Actually, my best friend did the same thing, and I agreed to do it, but I'm happy it is going well. Well, well with you, that is. <laughs> well, that was a nice thing to say. Thank you. Okay, Brandy, uh, we're going to wrap things up here, and I'm going to close out our tab, and I'm going to have you head out to the car. Um, our driver is waiting, and we're going to head on back to the mansion. Damn, she sure is fine. And that part she told me about the time she went to the new beach, man. Whew, I know we're going to have some good time. Okay, so it looks like Nathaniel and Brandy have connected. It's good to see that this date actually had some moments of personal, well, I would say personal moments. Um, but we're going to keep it moving. Um, we are going to go into a confession with Brandy. Let's look into it. Oh, and I don't want to forget to mention Vegas Vidal, our famous Cincinnati pastor, has a special message. So don't forget, stay tuned. It'll be coming up later in the show. Let's listen to Brandy. Oh, oh, man, excuse me, I'm tired. You know, after me and Nathan, you got home from our dates, we spent about two hours talking in the car. It was great. This man is just awesome. I mean, his the job that he has, his career is very enticing. He makes a lot of money. And I'm actually surprised to know that he's as smart as he is. So I'm intrigued. And um, also our careers match up together. So that's one of the things that I'm actually surprised. I mean, as I've had been, well, not had, but been on several dates with different people. I mean, I've ran into some, some bangers. I mean, they were really bad. But Nathaniel, oh, good choice. Good choice. So hopefully... I'll make it through the elimination round 
and I can be with Nathaniel and we can be on our second date and get to know each other. I'm actually liking this. Oh, and let me not forget the highlight of the date. And that was almost being snatched up by some old man on his plane. Well, he was going to take him to my <laughs> Okay, so it looks like Brandy and Nathan, you have made a connection. What a great first date. Absolutely. And, you know, besides the old man trying to steal her away, <laughs> it was great. But anyway, next up we have Chanel and Nathan. So let's see how their date went. So what's up, Chanel? I see you got my invitation for our first date. Um, if you don't mind, I'd like to hit up one of the local bars, uh, maybe one of the pubs in the area, and so we can break the ice. What do you say? Uh, um, okay. Uh, yes, I did. And sounds like a plan. Okay, I can go and get ready. I just need to do a little fluff to my hair and get changed. Um, and then I'll be ready. Is that okay with you? I could be ready within the hour. No, I mean, that sounds good. Um, when you're ready, just meet me in the main entrance and we'll head out. I'll have a car waiting. Okay, sounds like a plan. I'm gonna go get ready now and I'll see you at the entrance. Lady, I just told you I'm not interested. I'm here with somebody. Well, now, sir, uh, no need to get upset. You look like somebody I know. That's all. I have family around these parts. No need to raise your voice. You look like Aunt Millie's kinfolk from her second side of the family. And I just wanted to know. I don't like to pass up family. Well, ma'am, I don't have an Aunt Millie, and I don't know an Aunt Millie. We don't have nobody like that in our family, and I'm not from around here. Okay, well then, I will apologize. I don't mean to feel like I'm badgering you, but you just look very familiar. I don't know, I just recognize your face from somewhere. Oh, and finally, here she is. Um, excuse me, is there anybody that can remove this lady from the table? Like, she's standing really close, like, I feel like my space is invaded. Who is she? It, it's nothing. It, it, it's cool. She thought I was somebody she knew. Whew, what's going on here? Hello, everybody. Oh, and hello to you. Aren't you a fine specimen of a man? <laughs> Come on, I just have to see. Are you kidding me? This cannot be happening. Hello, my name is Victoria. <laughs> oh, and, wow. Um, like, he's sitting out table talking to another female <laughs> on our date. All right, okay. Let me get over here and talk to him because I'm in the mood to cuss his ass. That's out on me. I mean, I am. Oh, <laughs> look at her ass. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Well, Nathaniel, I want to start by saying thank you for um, interrupting your conversation with that woman to come and sit and talk to me. I mean, while we're on our date, I mean, at least we'll get a little bit of time to talk. Oh, and uh, all right. And so I want to thank you, too, for coming down, uh, taking some time out to come down and talk to me uh, in the, when you were in the middle of talking to your friend, you know, that guy you was upstairs talking to. So thank you very much for that. Oh. And you're very welcome. <laughs> We're much obliged. Um, happy to assist. <laughs> Unfortunately, Nathaniel and Chanel did not have a good date. This one was not good. I don't know. It just seems like the energy was really bad between the two of them. I don't know if it's something that they're just not having that connection or it's just if it was just the atmosphere i don't know what it is you know because you know how it is sometimes when, when you're dating but anyway we're gonna listen to chanel's confession let's see what she had to okay, say okay so for me i think our date was just a little bit boring and um one of the things that i didn't like was having people come up to the table while we were there so I don't like people standing over me when I'm eating, trying to eat my food. So to me, that was the whole thing. And he seemed like he was pissed about something. Like, what the fuck? I mean, I anyway, I, I don't know. The day to me wasn't the best. But towards the end, it did get a little bit better. You know, I tried to calm down. 
you know, and just relax, you know. But my thing was, we were trying to have a date, and we were trying to, we was trying to tell this one lady that we were on a date, and she just kept talking. She kept asking him questions and stuff, you know. So I kind of just got up, you know. I was just a little like this. This this date was not a good date. But to be real, I did run into somebody that I knew on a date, and I did go and talk to him for a minute. You know, he, we were just friends. You know, we did used to date, but I did go and talk to him for a little bit. I'm just saying, no question now. If you ask me, I think that Chanel was a little bit disrespectful on her date. First of all, you don't go talking to no another man while you on a date. She, I did see her go upstairs. We did have a clip of that. But she was on a date with Nathaniel. Why would you do that to somebody? I, I think that if it was me, our date would have been completely over. I wouldn't have continued. Um, and then her attitude, like, completely. Okay. But anyway, we're going to move on to Nathaniel's next date, which was Lily. Um, and I'm told that we've lost some of the clips. So we've only got the ending part of his uh, date with, um, with Lily. So we're looking forward to see what their confession is going to be. Let's look into the date. Wow, Lily, were you just outside with no shirt on? I mean, it's freezing outside. You must love the cold weather. Oh, yes, I love it. Hi, Lily. I see Hi. that you've gotten the roses. Yes, I love I you at your bedside. Listen, we're going to be leaving in about an hour. I just wanted to let you know we're going to go out on a date. We're going to hit up one of the local bars. Is that okay with you? I am ready. Looking forward to it, actually. I only have one thing. I don't really want to go to a bar. Is that okay? I would like to go to a park or something like that. I'm, I love nature. If that's okay with you. Perfectly fine. As long as I get to spend time with you, sweetie. Okay, so it looks like Lily and Nathaniel are going to switch it up a little bit. And they're not going to go to any of the local pubs. They're going to actually go to the park. The Isles of Volp Park. So there are some challenges there. They have wild foxes. So hopefully Lily loves animals. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> oh man, you can't be serious, man. I'm starting to come down with something. Lily, you got it too. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> it's been a long day. And I think I need to go take a bath. <laughs> Along with whatever this is, is going on. It almost looks like we looks like we have tiger flu or something. But I will say this, I'm happy that we went out on this date. I really like you, Nathaniel. Well, I'm glad to hear that. <clears throat> the feelings are mutual. I really enjoyed our date. Okay, so Nathaniel's date with Lily was pretty decent. I mean, we kind of lost those beginning clips, from, but from what I heard, it was pretty doggone good. Even though in, towards the end it got kind of tiger fluish like I mean, it was a really good date. <laughs> but anyway, moving on, we're going to look into our next clips of Nathaniel's date with Scorpio. Let's check it out. What's up, Scorpio? I see you got my invitation for our icebreaker date. I'm looking forward to it. I was thinking maybe we can hit up one of the local pubs, maybe even a club. What you say about that? Oh, sounds great. I was looking forward to it. I, I'm actually a little disappointed that I was the last girl, but I will take it. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it. Let's get going. I'll go downstairs, get dressed, and I'll meet you at the entrance. Okay, I'll meet you at the entrance. Okay, Scorpio, so I decided that it'll be really fun for us to go in here and do some karaoke. I hear that this club is known for some great karaoke acoustics, so I think we should go in here and show them how we do it. What you say? I am definitely down. I have never done karaoke before, but I have been told that I have a great singing voice, so I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. Well, that's definitely good to hear. Well, let's not waste time. I already have a song picked out for us to sing. Let's head in there. Let's get it going.
like you have a lot of friends bring it in uh no actually i just want to keep our date platonic since this is the first date i i'm sorry no uh actually um uh, let me apologize i i'm sorry i kind of invaded your space um <clears throat> i was just was kind of a little wrapped up in the moment and you know i, I apologize sorry right. let's go and have a seat have a drink and kind of chill out for a little bit Once again, I apologize for invading your space. And uh, well, anyway, moving on. Uh, mind if I ask what type of work you do, Scorpio? Ah, sure. I am 
actually as one of the showgirls in Vegas. I actually love doing that job. I'm a dancer and I love it. Really, very interesting. I was not expecting to hear that. Yes, and being a showgirl is everything to me. I have to get my body right and I have to eat healthy. And I always say that a healthy body is from the inside out, starting with what we eat. And so everything that I eat is very nutritious. Let me say that again. I always mess up my It's very nutritious and I love it. So I, I eat a lot of avocado and pineapple, a lot of green vegetables, green leafy vegetables. My diet mostly consists of raw vegetables and I drink lots and lots of water. Very little carbonated drinks and I really like tea. So that's my diet and I'm very fit and I, I just really love being healthy. So and my job requires it. So would this be considered a long-term career for you or is this something that you're just doing for now and maybe when you get ready to get married or settle down? I mean, do you even want to get married? Well, yes, of course. I do want to get married. I don't have any children and my career for now is a long-term career. Mm -hmm. What do you do? So, Nintendo, what type of work do you do? Do you have any children? Have you ever been married? What is your favorite hobbies? Do you work out? I mean, looking at you, you have a very nice body, very fit body. Hmm, so tell me about you. Well, I'm glad you asked. I am actually an engineer. I do not have any children. I've never been married, almost but never been married. Um, I am fit. I do love to work out. I like to eat healthy. So we kind of connect on that. So that was the date of Scorpio and Nathan. Huh. I'd have to say it was pretty mellow compared to all the rest. He had his ups and his downs with all the different dates, but this one was mellow, I have to say. Well, anyway... We have a confession from Nathaniel. He didn't, he hasn't dished yet, so I'm looking forward to hearing this. Ah, oh, to be a fly on the wall. I think this one is going to be pretty good. He's going to dish on all the girls. Let's listen in. I tell you, that performance they did at Honey Pop was pretty good. I mean, I didn't know it that was him. So, wow, these dating rounds are very interesting. So I'm gonna start off with Addison, my first date. You know, it was pretty good, you know, up until her little incident. You know, she kind of lost it towards the end. Um, I tried to, you know, make her feel comfortable and, you know, just help her out. And, you know, after that, our date was pretty much over, you know. But other than that, you know, she was she was blessed. I like her. Uh, Brandy, Brandy, oh, Brandy, yes. Brandy, I like Brandy, oh yeah. Brandy, I want to date Brandy again. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> but um, Lily, no, Chantel, we're going to move on to Chantel. Chantel, oh, Chantel was the worst date I ever had. Like, I, I don't I don't know. Chantel, that one, she, you know, it was just the burps. You know, she she had an attitude the whole time. Like, she had an attitude with some lady that was standing <laughs> next to the table, you know, and she just couldn't regain her confidence, you know, and it, it was just a lot, you know what I'm saying? Um, with Lily, Lily, Lily was a good day. That was a damn good day. You know, it got kind of messy towards the end because we got like, we came down with like tiger flu or something. But uh, we was, hey, that was a good day. I really connected with Lily. Scorpio was a little like a 50% off and on. You know, it was like, it was a good connection. But then in the end, it was like, I felt like she had her guards up with that one. So um, other other than that, it, it, you know, I, I'm enjoying myself. They, they, were, they were decent except for Chanel. Wow, what a confession. Wow. <laughs> Sounds like Nathan, you has bared it all. I mean, it's I'm surprised to hear all the things that went on on his day, but it was nice to hear that he really connected with Lily and Brandy. So we were, we're narrowing it down here. Okay, can't wait to talk to him about it. Anyway, we need to switch gears for our elimination round. Me and the ladies are going to go and get ready. We're going to get dressed. Nathan is going to go and get dressed. We're going to go. And in the meantime, we have a special guest. What's up, y'all? I'm Vegas Vidal and I'm a famous Simpsonette influencer. I have over a million followers and steadily growing. All the ladies love me. I'm here to share some exciting news. The creators of HGTV Sims has a special message for y'all. You want to know what it is? 
Okay, okay, I'll fill you in. Listen, HGTV is having a special giveaway to jump off the summer. All you have to do to qualify is to subscribe and answer one trivia question. Sounds simple, right? And just for subscribing, one lucky viewer will receive a free smartwatch. Damn, that's nice. I want that. But listen, all we need is 100 subscribers, then this will complete the giveaway. Okay? So if you want to win, subscribe and watch out for the trivia question that I'll be giving at the end of the show. One last thing. Y'all have to get the answer right. <laughs> The answer has to be right and you have to leave it drop that answer down in the description in the comments y'all so good luck back to you karen oh wow thank you so much vegas and i am back i have changed into my beautiful attire because we are getting ready to have a, a elimination round um this is not the best part of the show but try to mix it up a little bit make it a little bit more romantic maybe calm the mood down with a little bit of a fire going on in the background with some candles so we're gonna get our ladies out here without further ado and here they are the beautiful single women of the dating game brandy scorpio addison chanel and Lily. Oh, ladies, you are looking beautiful. Wow. Randy, I'm loving it. I'm loving the sheer. Go ahead now. Lily, I love it. Get down with the one shoulder. I'm loving it. Okay. Chanel, I love it. Royal blue. Okay, so first person that's going to be called up in the elimination round is Addison. Addison, you look very beautiful. I called you first because you were my first date, and I would like to know if you would accept my words tonight. Well, I'm kind of reluctant to take it. I don't want to take the rose, but I will stay in the competition. Ooh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, wow, let me go away. Okay, so she didn't accept the rose. We weren't expect expecting for that to happen. Okay, so our next person up would be Brandy. Come on up, Brandy. Hello, Brandy. You look beautiful as always. I called you up second because I wanted to ask you if you would accept my rose. Why yes, Nathan, you I will accept your robes and thank you. Alright, congratulations again, Nathan. She did accept her robes. So the next person we call to the stage would be Lily. Lily, you look beautiful as well. I called you up here because I wanted to know if you would accept my robes. Nathaniel, I am so sorry, but I cannot accept your robes. And I'm so sorry to put you through this. I know that we're supposed to go through elimination, but I just I, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. I can't. Okay, so it looks like there's a bit of commotion going on, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut to a break. And we will be back after these messages. Okay, guys, what's up? I'm back. I'm Vegas right there. And I'm back. <laughs> well, anyway, getting to it. The trivia question. Out of all five of the women, which one of the women contracted tiger flu on their date with Nathan. Again, which one of the women contracted tiger flu while on their date with Nathan? Remember, drop your your answer in the description and don't forget to subscribe and we'll keep you posted. Good luck. Okay, so we are back and we have gotten a little bit of information. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to have Every, all the ladies leave the stage. We had all the ladies leave the stage and I'm going to do a one-on-one -on -one interview with Lily. Lily has decided that she did not want to take her robes and I really want to know why. So let's look in. Let's talk to her and see what's going on. Hello, Lily. I know this is a difficult part. I mean, I can see the emotion coming through. Um, the reason why I wanted to do this one-on-one -on -one with you because I wanted to see where you were emotionally as far as why you didn't accept your roles from Nathan. Well, the main reason why I did not accept my roles was morally it would not be right. Um, technically, I'm not even supposed to be in a conversation like this because of my morals, my background. And at that moment, I just felt convicted and I just needed to, I just felt like the right thing to do was to just step to get out of the competition i feel really bad for nathaniel i'm really sorry 
Um, but at the end of the day, I need to do what I feel is right. And I don't feel like I'm doing the right thing by continuing on in this competition. Okay, Lily, I'm happy to hear that you are a stickler for your morals that's important to you. You know, I really like that. That's a great quality. Um, unfortunately, we're not able to continue you on in the competition. Um, so I just hope for the best for you, Lily. And I hope that you find love on your journey. Yeah. So thank you so much for coming to the Daily Games. So that's our show. And don't forget the trivia question. Drop your answer in the description. And subscribe for your chances to win that smartwatch. <laughs> See you next time on the Daily Games.